So this is a big issue. So you said you've been like this since you were a kid. Yes, my mom had to try well, I was adopted, and my mom had to try multiple times finding different formulas, and finally found one that was like brown to get me to go. I don't. I mean, I don't. I don't know what it was or anything like that. But so since then, though, I've always had. It's either one or the other. Either I go, and it's nonstop, or I don't go for. Well, obviously, since Thursday, not that everyone needed to know my problem. Uh, yes. yes, we did. Yeah, we did. You signed a document at the beginning of the class. Yeah. <laughs> so you brought up a wonderful thing. How about IBS? And yeah, and again, that's a description. That's not a diagnosis to me. Irritable bowel syndrome, really. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we're right at noon, aren't we? It's, uh, it's twelve. All right, we'll meet a little bit later. You guys need the hour for lunch. I'd rather you got this. So come back about 2.15 and we'll get everybody going. So notice I cleared descending. Sorry, 1.15. Um, cleared transverse and then cleared ascending. So pumping movements. And if you have one second more, we'll discuss the difference between diarrhea and this, and then I'll let you go to lunch. Isn't that lovely? So if you have... IBS with constipation, you need to bring water into the colon, you need to soften that, and you need to create peristalsis. So with that, I might be doing a very fast pumping movement, a lot faster than this, and I'm leaving the cup, because as long as it sits here, it's drawing fluid. If it was diarrhea, we would be feathering it off and never leaving the cup sit. And actually, I would probably turn this off and go to straight suction. We need to sedate the colon and move the fluid out. So constipation, stimulate peristalsis, bring water in by leaving the cup sit in one place and pump. If you don't have the pumping mode and you're working with manual, create the pumping mode. If it is diarrhea, you're gonna start feathering the water out and never leaving the cup sit where it is. So does that make sense for you? A feather in the water out, are you taking it looks like you're going away from that. I am. Okay. We found that's what worked. We have been able to help people have a regular bowel movement um, that they haven't had in nine years. One girl had her ileocecal removed and her first solid bowel movement. Well, all we did is one treatment. So it, it's really a nice thing for, again, balancing it out.